Welcome to Create the Best Me. I am Carmen Hecox, a personal development coach, and I am so excited to be connecting with you today. Whether you're listening to the podcast or joining us on YouTube, my goal is to help women navigate through midlife challenges with compassion, inspiration, and empowering conversation. Each week, we'll dive into thought-provoking topics designed to build self-confidence, overcome invisible women syndrome, and find the courage to create the best version of yourself. I'll also be joined by expert guests who will share the wisdom and insights. So make yourself comfortable and let's embark on this journey together. Well, hello there, fearless midlife trailblazers. Welcome to Create the Best Me. If you are new here, I'm so glad you made it here. If you're a returning listener, welcome back to the one and only place where we encourage and empower women in midlife to pursue their dreams and live life to the fullest. Our focus has always been to support you in your journey of transformation, growth, and self-discovery. Today, we'll dive into the topic that resonates with me and perhaps most women in midlife. That's lifestyle changes that occur during this time and how we can make these shifts an opportunity for a positive experience. In today's journey, we begin by exploring the common lifestyle changes that many women encounter during midlife. From there, we'll discuss the physical and emotional impacts of these changes and how understanding them can provide a foundation for navigating this stage of life. Then we'll talk about the strategies for transforming these changes into positive experiences, focusing on mindfulness and adaptability. We'll also discuss the value of personal growth during midlife and how self-care plays an essential role in this phase. And finally, we'll cover the importance of community and connections during this time, showing how it can enrich your midlife journey. So let's start by understanding what we mean when we talk about lifestyle changes during midlife. What really happens during this period? Well, for many women, the midlife stage ushers a series of physical and emotional changes. You might find that you're noticing a shift in your body due to hormonal transitions of premenopause leading up to menopause. These physical changes can include sleep disturbance, changes in your metabolic system, or the infamous hot flashes. But it's not just about physical. Midlife also brings shifts in our roles and relationships. Perhaps your children are growing up and leaving home, altering your role as a parent, or maybe you're taking on a role of a caregiver for your aging parents. Career transition may also be at the forefront as you might be reaching a peak or perhaps considering the second act. These shifts can be unsettling. That's okay. It's a natural response to change. But remember, acknowledging these changes, understanding them, is the first step toward transforming the midlife stage into a positive and empowering journey. Now let's take a moment to reflect on how these changes affect us. How do they impact our emotional well-being, our physical health, and our perception of ourselves and our place in the world? You see, these changes don't exist in a vacuum. They reverberate through every aspect of our lives. And recognizing this impact helps us become more compassionate and patient with ourselves. And believe me, when it comes to navigating midlife changes, compassion and patient are our best allies. We've begun to understand the physical and emotional changes that often accompany the midlife transition. Now let's take a deeper look into the impact of these changes in our lives. You see, these shifts can profoundly affect our emotional well-being. It's not uncommon to experience feelings of loss or uncertainty during this time. We might grieve for our younger selves or for the life stage that we're leaving behind. We might also feel a sense of apprehension as we face new rules and responsibilities. On a physical level, 
the hormonal changes occurring during premenopause and menopause can lead to various symptoms such as changes in sleep patterns, fluctuation in weight, or mood swings. These physical symptoms in turn can have a direct impact on our emotional health and daily life routines. Our perception of ourselves and our place in the world can also be influenced by these changes. As our roles and responsibilities shift, we may need to reassess our identity, our goals, and our priority. It's a time of reevaluation and redefinition. These impacts are significant, yes, but not instrumental. Remember, understanding the impacts of these changes can pave the way toward developing strategies to cope with them and turn them into opportunities for growth. So how do we transform these changes into positive experience? What tools can we equip ourselves with to navigate these waters with resilience and grace? Let's dive into this. Transforming these midlife changes into a positive experience might seem like a tall order, but it is entirely possible, and we're going to explore how. One powerful tool is mindfulness. Being present in the moment allows us to experience life as it is rather than as we believe it should be. When we let go of the expectation and accept our reality, we create a space for appreciation, even in times of change. It's like standing in the eye of the storm, calm and focused, even when things are swirling around us. Another essential strategy is adaptability. Instead of resisting change, we can learn to ride the wave, to adapt and evolve. Remember, the only constant in life is change. And embracing this fact can make the journey much smoother. To illustrate these points, let's consider Sarah's story. Sarah is a woman in her early 50s. She found herself facing significant life changes. Her children had grown up and moved out. She was an empty nester. She was also experiencing menopause, which came with its own set of physical challenges. Initially, Sarah found herself struggling with these changes. She felt lost and unsure of her new identity. But then she decided to embrace mindfulness and adaptability. She began to meditate daily, focusing on being present and accepting her new reality. She also started exploring new hobbies and interests that she'd previously put on the back burner. Slowly, Sarah found herself not just surviving these changes, but thriving. She developed a newfound appreciation for her empty nest, enjoying the quiet and freedom it offered. She also began to view her physical changes not as a loss, but as markers of a new life stage full of potential. So Sarah's story shows Equipping ourselves with the right strategies can indeed turn change into a positive experience, but it's also essential to prioritize ourselves during this time, to focus on personal growth and self-care, which leads us to our next topic. As we move through midlife, focusing on personal growth and self-care becomes even more crucial. So let's delve into how we can nurture ourselves during this transformative stage. As we continue our journey through midlife, our focus on personal growth and self-care should take center stage. Now more than ever, it's vital to prioritize our well-being and use this period as a time for personal evolution. Self-care can take various forms, from ensuring a balanced diet and regular exercise, to practicing mindfulness and making time for hobbies and activities we love. It's about treating ourselves with kindness and acknowledge that our well-being is essential. But what about personal growth during this time? Well, personal growth often goes hand-in-hand with self-care. 
as we take care of ourselves, we're also nurturing our growth. Midlife with its change and shifts provides an incredible opportunity for introspection, learning, and growth. Let's consider the story of Laura, another brave woman navigating midlife transition. After a successful career as a lawyer, Laura found herself burnt out and unfulfilled. Her children had moved out, and she felt it was time for her to own her transition. Laura began prioritizing her well-being. She took up yoga, started painting, activities she had wanted to explore but never had the time. She nourished her body with healthier food choices and took care of her mind with daily meditation. In prioritizing self-care, Laura also sparked personal growth. She began to discover aspects of her life she had previously overlooked. She developed a passion for art, found peace in mindfulness, and realized that there was so much more to her than her career. Laura's story is an excellent reminder that taking care of ourselves physically, emotionally, isn't just about survival. It's about thriving, growing, and unlocking new potentials within ourselves. But while personal growth and self-care are vital, let's not forget another critical aspect of our journey, and that's the power of community and connection. As we travel the landscape of midlife, community and connection becomes our guiding light. Let's discover how they can enrich our midlife. The power of community and connections cannot be overstated, especially during times of change. Having a supportive network of friends, family, or fellow journeyers can be a source of strength, validation, and inspiration. Sharing experience, wisdom, and support helps us realize we're not alone in this journey. It's crucial to seek out and nurture these connections, be it joining local groups, participating in online forums, or merely reaching out to a trusted friend or relative. Every connection matters. Let's bring this point home with the story of Rachel. Like many women in midlife, Rachel was going through several transitions. She was adjusting to her new role as a grandmother, dealing with physical changes of menopause, and coming to terms with her new retired status. Rachel initially struggled with these transitions. She felt isolated and overwhelmed. But Rachel found a local group for women navigating midlife. She started attending their weekly meetings, sharing their experience, and learning from others. Rachel found that being part of this community was a game changer. Not only did she feel supported and understood, but she found joy and strength in supporting others. She realized that these connections added a richness to her life that she hadn't expected. As Rachel's story shows, fostering community connections can profoundly impact our midlife journey. By sharing connections and growing together, we can navigate the changes with more resilience, joy, and depth. In today's episode, we journey through the landscape of midlife changes from understanding what's happening to our bodies and our roles to learning strategies for turning these changes into positive experience. We discuss the importance of self-care and personal growth and the crucial role of community and connections. Remember, like any journey, navigating midlife has its challenges But with mindfulness, adaptability, self-care, personal growth, and a supportive community, we can turn these challenges into opportunities for deep transformative growth. So as we ramp up today, my invitation to you is to embrace your midlife journey. Lean into the changes. Care for yourself. Grow and connect. This is your time to create the best you. Today's transcripts and additional information about today's topic can be found at createthebestme.com forward slash EP019. If you want additional information, I recommend you listen to episode 
15, 13, and 11. They can be found at createthebestme.com forward slash EP015 or forward slash EP013 or forward slash EP011. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated and you don't want to miss next week's episode where my guest will be Jana Wilson, author of Wise Little One. She's also a hypnotherapist, shadow worker, meditation teacher, and the founder of the Emotional Healing System. She will be here to discuss her new book, Wise Little One, which I strongly recommend you go out and pre-order. This book will hit the shelves at all major book retailers on July 12, 2023. Until next time, keep dreaming big, take care of yourself, and remember, you are beautiful, strong, and capable of creating the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching. Catch you next week. Bye for now.